Hello everyone, I am William Strife and welcome to Tug. Um, this is a little indie game that's being developed by, I believe it's the Nerd Kingdom. Uh, you'll probably notice that uh, Dave Chaos, and I'm pretty sure that Martin also did a video over this. I was originally supposed to work with them, but the damn reply button in email has always been my enemy. Anyways, um, Tug is uh, a nice little indie game. As you can see, it's kind of got this uh, cartoon look to it. And, oh jeez, I don't, I don't even know where to start. I mean, it, it's, it's kind of a result of the paradigm shift that we're seeing in video games today uh, that is a result of Minecraft. And how, you know, nowadays we're seeing lots and lots of these survival uh, crafting games. And, and Tug is one of them. And it, it seeks to do a whole lot of really interesting stuff. So, one of the, one of the really interesting things about this game is uh, its crafting system. It's... It's similar to, but dissimilar, from a lot of um, other survival games out there. So naturally, the first thing that you do, collect sticks. Okay, so I got myself some sticks. Woohoo. Here we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and grab myself some rocks. But I also, if I want to make some tools to get to work, because, you know, in crafting games, these survival crafting games, that's exactly what you do from the very outset. You always work on uh, making yourself a set of tools. What? So what do you do first? You punch logs, and then something else... What the heck? I get a stick out of the bush. I didn't know that. Oh, no. Flowers? I got flowers. Red berries. Huh. I didn't know that those were a thing. Okay, anyways, um... <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm just kind of winging it through this because, um... The, like I said, the original plan was to uh, do a video with Dave and Martin, but, uh... You know, that didn't quite pan out, so I'm not entirely certain what I'm doing here. That being said, uh, uh, the way that this video came about is, uh, this is a, a paid promotion, as it were. The, uh, the Nerd Kingdom, they approached us, the Yoxcast, and, uh, they came forth and they said, Hey, hey, uh, do you want to, you know, showcase this video? And, uh, you know, I reserve the right to not showcase any game that I want, but it seemed interesting enough, so... Don't think that I'm selling out or anything. Pfft, hardly the case. I still reserve the right to just completely defecate all over this game if I see fit. Now, jeez. Um, I is a bit, bit of an awkward key to access the inventory. This is really, really early alpha, so things are a little bit buggy. But to do crafting in this game, it's really interesting, I find. First of all, you equip the item, then you place it down with Q. And then open my inventory again. Take out a... No, wait, that's bamboo. I want a stick. Put the stick down. And uh, this is a, a small rock spire. So this is like a, a pick head. So if I go ahead and place that down, then press G. Bada boom. I've now got a pickaxe. I just go ahead and equip that by right-clicking. And now, I can start mining out the world to dig a mine if I want to. So, nothing new there. I mean, you've, you've seen this in a whole lot of other games, but just the crafting system is really, really interesting, the way that it works there. Anyway, what's, what's really interesting about this game is that it's, you know... It's got this curved and uh, smooth landscape, as you can see. However, at the exact same time, you can still pick up and place blocks. So, whenever you do that, suddenly it becomes voxel-based, which is kind of strange. I mean, it's a unique melding of the two features, which, like, I didn't see coming whenever I, 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 I first started looking at this game. Like, I didn't see that coming. I didn't think that that would be something that they would do with it, but at the exact same time, it's like really, really interesting. It ca uh, catches my eye. Go ahead and place the rest of this down just to get it out of my inventory, because I don't actually need blocks at the moment. Ugh. Uh, there, I don't need this. Get rid of most of that. What do we have here? Another stick. Uh, but there are a whole lot of other things that you can craft as well. In fact, um, I need more vines, so I need to find bushes on the ground. I know that there's somewhere here. Grab another stick while I'm at it. Ah, here we are. Got some vines. Go ahead and break these down. I'll take that uh, little gourd at the same time. The gourd, believe it or not... Ooh, I'm full on my inventory. What do you know? Um, okay. Let's see. I'll equip the jagged rock, and then I'll equip the stick, and the vines, finally. Press G. Aha. What is this? What did I make? It's a crude axe. Okay, so this is really cool. With the crude axe, um, I can go ahead and smack this tree and I just blow the entire thing out. Boom! It's awesome. I love doing that. 
Just smack it once and there's this entire log on the ground. Now if I smack the log, it turns into what looks like a wooden club. So, if I just, whoops, let me do that. Pick that up. Then if I just turn around right over here, I'll just put the log down. And I'll equip the vine. And then I'll put some of these pebbles down. And now I've got myself a handy weapon. This will help me. I mean, it, I mean, in all honesty, it's not actually going to help in this version of the game. Because like I said, this is such an early alpha title or release of the game that there's really no need for the weapons. Unless you're playing with other people uh, in a competitive mode. I mean, jeez, oh my hand keeps disappearing there. And actually, it's starting to get dark out. And I, yes, I do have vines on me. So I'll go ahead and equip this. The thing about this game, whenever the sun sets, is that it becomes extremely dark out. And whenever I say extremely dark, I mean this probably isn't going to work. Nope, that doesn't work. Just pick all of this stuff back up. I need another stick. Uh, whenever it gets dark out, it gets extremely dark, as in, you know, almost impossible to see. So, and that's for me, you know, whenever you play a game, um, you can usually see better than you can see whenever you create the video in the end. So I'll probably have to do something to uh, make it visible for you guys once the sun sets, but it's also possible. But so you can see during the night, you can make a torch. And for some reason, these gourds glow. See? It's lit up the ground. So I'll just go ahead and take that. Now I've got myself a handy dandy torch. And, um... I can't place it down though, which is a little bit of a bummer. Seems to be a kind of awkward. But something that I haven't actually done yet is, um, and actually it would be really, really useful if I could equip the torch to my left hand while mining with the right. The, uh, the smoke effect, well, the dirt, the dust and the dirt, oh my god, there's so much. Let's see how far, I'm, I'm actually really curious, how far down can I mine before something breaks? I'm really interested to see how this game works out in the long run because of everything that I saw that the developers are hoping to do. It's some sort of a civilization development. Now, this was a kickstarted game, so they didn't reach their goals um, for the civilization, but I'm really curious if it'll be successful enough in the long run for them to be able to do that. And as you can see, it's starting to get so dark out that I can't see too well, um, and yet it's going to get darker still. So, um, there's no doubt going to be the problem with you guys being completely unable to see. There we go, now that I've equipped the torch. But the, the game definitely caught my eye for what it does, what it's, uh, what they promise to do with it. I mean, it's, it's really a, a symbol of the way that things are changing in the game landscape, really. It has a lot to do with the fact that, um, you know, like I said before, there's a paradigm shift in games because, you know, before five years ago, what exactly would you call a game that was open world crafting and survival? I mean, nowadays we call it, you know, a sandbox survival game or a crafting survival game. Uh, we don't actually have a name for uh, a one catch all name for it. I mean, it's kind of like whenever first person shooters were new, they uh, they were all called Doom clones. Because every, every first-person shooter, it was like, oh, well, you're just copying Doom. And, you know, nowadays, first-person shooters are just... They're this big, really, really large chunk of the, uh, the video game market that represents action in general. So, I mean, now we've got games that are popping up. They're doing the same thing. You know, uh, they're, uh, you know, you have to survive, but you also have to gather and craft in order to do that. And... We're seeing we're seeing how how that Im system can be implemented. You know, several of them, uh, you know, obviously drawing from Minecraft as the first really initial success on that. You know, you had a grid crafting system, but this one, you go and you place items down on the ground. You know, just oh, and you can't see anymore. Wow. Well, there's an example of how absolutely ridiculous dark the game gets, which is actually, uh, you know, right now it's a pretty big bummer that that's the case, and. Um, to be quite honest, I'm really curious to see how uh, how the devs are going to flesh this out in the long run to uh, make it a little bit more engaging. Because right now, I just there's no cave. Okay, <laughs> just kind of a, a little gash in the ground. And 
This is probably a really bad. I like I I haven't jumped off the edge of the world, but I'm kind of curious what will happen if I do. Okay, I see the edge of the land there. You have been killed. No one has survived. Well, um. Oh, <laughs> it kicks me back to the game. Okay, resume. Nope. Nope, just kicks me back to this. Oh no, it looks like it froze on me. I can't open the menu. Well, there's another there's a bug, uh, to be fixed. But uh this has been Tug everyone, the unnamed game. Uh I'm William Strife. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh I'll see you later. Bye!